Yes. Well, forget Jim Courier and Todd Woodridge. Uh, you're about to meet the real voice, or should I say voices of tennis. Take a listen. Please make sure all the towels are fresh. I need more towels. A lineswoman to hit balls it. A karaoke machine. Rafa Nadal here from room 6 love, 6 love. It happened again. I gotta need more towels. But <laughs> babe, babe, you have to do that right now. Please, you know, I'm trying to film. I'm doing my own thing over here. No, no, it's not for only fans, okay? Have some respect. <laughs> what do you mean I have to be treated like other tennis players? I am not like other tennis players. I am me. I am Novak Djokovic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's hard to believe, but that's all the work of comedian impressionist Elliot Loney. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to make it this morning, so no. he sent Bernard Tomic instead. Thanks for stepping in, Bernie. Uh, one of your lead-up tournaments, you copped backlash for posting a video of you playing basketball mm. hours before pulling out of the match because of an injury. What do you have to say about that? Um, yeah, you know, one word and the uh, nine syllables. It's not my fault that I retired, okay? You know, I'm a millionaire. I'd spell it out for you, but I dropped out of high school in year five. You've got Carl. Uh, and you've got, well, and um, Novak Djok Djokovic is here. You're a player who's used to getting what they want, but your list of demands ahead yeah. of the Australia Open got denied. So... Do you have a list of requests for us this morning? How can we help you, Novak? You know what? I thought you would never <laughs> ask, Leila, you know? And uh, dear Today Show, firstly, I'd like to thank myself for being here. <laughs> Secondly, I understand, Carl Stefanovic, you have won a gold logie for most popular personality. Could you please assume the role of my likability coach in exchange for some pocket lint I found in the trousers of my tennis shorts from my 2020 <laughs> Australian Open victory? <laughs> Lastly, Leilor McKinnon, stop being so charismatic and likable. Your presence is taking the attention away from me. Yes. Please be go away and make sure... Excuse me? <laughs> I, okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Excuse me. It's okay. okay. We, have, we have more, we have yeah, more. As long as you have fellow, because uh, Nick Kyrgios is our man, uh, the Today Show's Nick Kyrgios. Um, he's an unpredictable athlete. Last night you told your brother's um, girlfriend to get out of the player's box. Um, what is the go with that? Can you explain? <laughs> yeah, Nick, what's up? <laughs> Oi, sorry, bro, sorry, bro. Oi, like, honestly, like... Can someone tell this cameraman to get out of my peripheral, bro? Like, seriously, bro. Like, what are you doing, bro? Bro, it's like, bro, I'm trying to be cool out here. This guy's just cramping my style, bro. What are you, what are those shoes, bro? Seriously, bro. What a joke. I love it. I love it. How good is that? Nick, uh, you were out partying with Elliot Loney last night. Uh, is he a good guy? Hmm? Bro, the guy's an absolute forward, bro. Like, he makes a living impersonating other people, bro. Like, honestly, bro, like Elliot Loney, more like Elliot Phoney. If I see him in the street, bro, I'm going to deck him. I'm going to deck him the next time I see him, bro. I love the it. The guy's a joke. Bro. I love it. And we're getting word that Jim Courier is just about to join us. And, Jim, you've been a part of the Australian Open broadcast for years now. Are you excited to be back? <laughs> this is a great deal of anticipation. Well, guys, come on. Let's get some enthusiasm right about now. Jim Courier in the house. Let me answer your question with another question right about now. When was the last time <laughs> you saw such a handsome, charismatic guy who had the confidence to it's jump in the Yarra River twice? Come on, where my baby's at. Yeah, Throw yeah, the pacifiers yeah. at the stage. Come on, let's go, baby. Come on. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, having, yeah. Been, having been that's in the right. Yarra River twice. Here. Come on. Um, yeah. You know, that's it. Here he goes. Here he goes. This is the final one. Uh, we're now joined um, by our man Rafa. Um, Rafa, we know that um, you've had a, uh, like a little bit of a, a, a funny preparation for this one, but how are you feeling heading into the Australian Open? Rafael Nadal, um, who is an absolute wonder. <laughs> oh, hello, everybody. Well, you know what, Carl? <laughs> for the Australian Open, my preparation, I feel very, very good. But I tell you what, the COVID-19 has been very, very bad. I mean, even Novak Djokovic caught the virus. But 
most of the players were already social distancing from him before he got the virus. So <laughs> it's no different, no? It's no different. But I'm very happy to be here and I'm going to kill everyone. I you, know, you know, Alex is such a big fan of Rafa um, that he thinks he can, he can outdo um, Rafa's impersonation. Um, Alex, um, you can you give it... A here we go. This is a raffle off. Impersonation is the sincerest form of flattery. So here yeah. goes. Um, uh, to win in uh, straight sets is uh, very positive for me. <laughs> uh, my back, my back is uh, is happy. Happy to be here. Uh, uh, Roger Federer is not here, and that is a good thing. Uh, so uh, happy. I love this stuff. Uh, what did you think, Rafa? Well, you know what? I think Alex is a very nice guy. I like him very much. But when it comes to the Rafa impersonation, he needs to stop. He needs to stop right now because I'm going to chop him. He's, he's, I, there's only one real Rafa Nadal, and it is me, OK? So, Alex, no more. No more, please. No more. Big round of applause for this man. Yes. Love you. Love you, Rafa. Good luck, my man. Good luck. Sensational. Sensational.